like a lab rat Johnny Depp I mean, freaked out at home, a super busy mom Johnny Depp The boy's best friend is a talking dog That's right Three extreme jeans and an air-breathing shark Mega action game control is skating in the park A feral booster bling bling What do we make of this? See your experiments on molecular fusion. I'd like to introduce some new students, Mr. Black and Mr. White. No way! The government G-Dude said to steal our experiments for their secret covert operations. No, dude, we're here for a righteous education and to meet babes. Aunt Miss X and Miss Z. No way! Those are two cyborgs sent by some evil dude to steal our experiments to take over the world! If you shut up, I'll go out with you. They're cool. Now, today's first experiment comes from Susan and Mary Test. The Alchemy 5000. Since the Middle Ages, man and girls have tried to alter the molecular structure of ordinary metal and transform it into precious metal. <laughs> The Alchemy 5000? That is your project? A pathetic medieval obsession of trying to turn metal into gold? Um, yeah. <laughs> Personal engraving is extra. Hmm. Hmm. It's just a milkshake. And it has milk in it. And we shook it. Don't do it! Nothing is worth it! We'll increase your testosterone level so you can grow a mustache. So Sweet. Okay, give me the shake. <laughs> Shows muscle mass increased by 800% and a height differential. Okay, where is it? Ooh, buff lamp. Uh, How many times have your mother and I told you no precious metal changing devices in this house? <laughs> Professor Slopsink called and said if this fell into evil hands, it could be used for evil things. Now get rid of it before dinner or no lab time for a month. One month! Okay, we gotta trash this thing. Thanks, cutie! I blame you for this. <laughs> Susan and Mary Test. The only two minds on Earth almost as smart as mine own, but not quite as evil. And now that I have your gold-making thingy... Give it back, Eugene. Never! And it's Bling Bling Boy! What's the evil plot this time? Oh, I'm going to hook your precious gold-making machine to my super laser and turn Pork Belly into my personal treasure chest. But I won't do it if Susan goes out with me and we're boyfriend-girlfriend. What? Gross, no way. You will be mine, Susan Test! <laughs> How can we get the Alchemy 5000 back and destroy it by dinner? Give me extreme kung fu powers and a baby pet triceratops, and we're in. Yeah! Using these extreme kung fu powers, you must defeat Eugene's ninja cyborgs, grab the Alchemy 5000, and get back before dinner. Yeah, great story. Now load us up! Begin kung fu power simulation. <laughs> Silly me. Wrong program. Boy to his parents' private island, 30 miles off the coast. I've preset the coordinates into the hydro cruiser, which you know comes complete with nitro rope, phone, and licorice if you get hungry. Here's a funny thing. I've decided not to risk my life over a chubby kid obsessed with gold and Susan! The island is full of tall, fresh, never been peed on trees. Oh, yeah, okay, move over. I'm in. <laughs> Test 
of my evil powers will convince Susan Test to accept my invitation of love. Sir, we're not 100% sure that the laser fits through the- Silence! Don't make me cranky! <laughs> Mom, I'm studying. Girls, dinner will be ready in an hour. Is that machine destroyed? Almost. And where's your brother? He took Dookie for a walk. He said he'd be home before dinner. He better be home before dinner. <laughs> Wind is fun! Small watercraft approaching. Destroy it. <laughs> Uh, do you know what you're doing? Yes, I'm pushing colorful buttons. <laughs> ah! We're a large city duck! This looks promising, yet at the same time, disturbing. <laughs> Dinner's almost done, so let's do this. I say we split up. You go check out that large, menacing-looking fake volcano, and I'll check out that forest full of fresh trees. Copy that. <laughs> Johnny, hurry! Get the Alchemy 5000 and get home! Don't worry, Psycho Sisters. With my new ninja prowess, there's no way Bling Bling Boy can stop me! <laughs> Whoa. Didn't see that coming. Brother and a golden laser. Do we have a date? Why don't you just get some therapy and come back to school? Is Slop Sink still sore about my thesis eating his hand? Yeah. Then never! And now I want more than a date. I want a kiss, and it had better be big and smoochy. Come to rescue me. I really tried not to. Oh, and I made a phone call too. Okay, I'm out of here. You may have won this round, Johnny Test, but you won't stop me from turning Pork Belly into gold. Gold! Eugene, what's going on up there? I already told you, I'm studying. <laughs> Target locked. Preparing golden laser blast. Yeah! Our kung fu powers are useless! Is there anything that can stop him? That might stop him. Johnny! Thanks to you, Bling Bling Boy will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. For minors. So, he'll be out in about a week. Eugene! Plotting world domination again? You are in such trouble, mister! No, you don't let her take me. Send me away! I I'm a bad boy! Arrest me! Please! There's only one person who can deliver a punishment more painful and tear-inducing than us. Mom. Now, we'd better get you home before your mom does the same. Johnny. Sorry I'm late. Dookie dropped the triple. <laughs> Thanks again for letting me destroy that gold making thing. It was fun. I love you both. So, did anything else exciting happen today? Yeah. I taught Dookie a new trick. <sighs> We don't want to be late for the Mega Institute Science Expo. And I've saved space on the trophy cabinet in case you girls win first prize. Again. Are you looking for your shoe, dear? 
No, Johnny. I can't find him anywhere. Oh, I think I saw him heading towards the girls' lab. He's in the lab? And to make the fine salsa, which we put on the nachos, which we put in our bellies, we must first put the ingredients in this big thing. Check me if I'm wrong, Johnny, but I don't think a nuclear cell splitter is the right way to make salsa. Sure it is. I just push this thing that says on and let there be salsa. Johnny, get out of the lab! We're gonna be late for that! Science Expo! And now, presenting last year's winners, the oh-so-sweet and gum-chewing Susan and Mary Tescht! Stop, stop licking me. Come on, you're covered in spicy salsa goodness! Presenting the Electrochromatic Blanket. <laughs> there is nothing there! You lose! You must have an experiment to qualify, and you... By bending light rays around its ultra-reflective material, it makes anyone or anything invisible. You win again! Yay! Not so fast, Professor! For it is I, Blink Blink Boy, and I am the one who will win this expo! Presenting Repto Slicer, a major advancement in genetic reptilian pet evolution. Big deal, a lizard! Boo! <laughs> Eugene, you are disqualified. A, for not being an old, and B, the fact that your last genetic experiment ate my hand. Now get it out of here! <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Back in your cage, little freaky one. Help! It's gonna eat us alive! Stand back. We'll stop it. Later. We'll stop it later. But first... I'm in trouble, aren't I? Crypto Slicer is slicing and dicing up downtown Pork Belly. I'm okay. Stand down, Repto Slicer. We don't want to hurt you. Well, that's not nice. And that's just rude. Don't panic. Now that we've thoroughly evaluated the enemy, we now will take the proper steps to capture the beast and return non-slicing beast to Pork Belly. You've got to help us. We can't stop this thing. There is no way I'm getting mixed up with anything to do with Eugene. Bling Bling Boy. He prefers to be called Bling Bling Boy. He made that very clear at the detention center. Besides, only the person who created such a monster would know how to defeat it. I'll stop him. Oh, please. How are you going to stop him? Easy, because it's time for the return of... Johnny X! Oh, and X Pooch! Please don't drag me into this. Johnny, you no longer have mutant powers. Remember? We did neutralize his mutant powers, right? We did. I know we did. Oh, right. We forgot about the power boots. We'll stop that shredding menace to society! No way. I'm not going downtown only to get shredded by a cute yet razor-sharp lizard. I have a lot to live for, Johnny, and... Stop your blabbing and just tell me how many steaks it'll cost. Four. And I want a chew toy. Wait! You now have your own hurricane hands and shape-shifting powers, too. Oh, and here. It's our electrochromatic blanket. It will allow you to sneak up on Repto Slicer. Cool! Bye. Why did you give him all that stuff? If something happens to Johnny, we would have no little brother. Oh, that's sweet. To test all our dangerous experiments on. Good point. Your flying still stinks. Now get me down to Repto Slicer. <laughs> that's enough, Repto Slicer. You've done enough damage to our fine city. And it's time I stop you with my hurricane hand. Your hurricane hands are your best feature. Try the power boots and melt that bad boy. Uh. Ah! Hey, Johnstock, you think you're so 
all smart, but you can't catch me. <laughs> hey, look, I'm part poodle. And we're giving up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have good news and bad news. The good news is Bling Bling Boy has agreed to disclose Repto Slicer's weakness and how we can defeat him. What's the bad news? He'll only tell us if he gets a smooch from Susan. No way! And nothing will change my mind! <laughs> okay, I'll help. Yes, it's my third time in the facility this year, but on the upside, I'm making friends. Yo, Tiny, <laughs> my man. See? Do we have a deal or nut? Yes. And now, Susan, do you have my uh, smooch? Let's just get it over with. <laughs> I finally got a kiss from Susan Cass. No. How do I stop Repto Slicer? Oh, I have no idea. Surprise! You see, I just said that to get a kiss from Susan, and it worked. It worked! And surprise back, you kissed a Susan bot. Hmm, clever. I thought your smooch was a little metallic. But that's not all. Hey, I have the same bikini at home. I'm sorry I created Repto Slicer. I just thought I wanted a pet like the younger Flaming Headed Test. You could have just gone to the pound and gotten a dog, you know. Yes, but I really wanted something evil with sharp rotating blades, and I did everything that a good pet owner should have done. I put it in a cage, kept it in a nice dark closet, barely fed it, never changed the paper. What? Did you ever take Repto Slicer out for a walk or to the park or give it a cup of coffee? <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course not. It's inconsistent over one million rotating spikes. Hello? <laughs> There's no way I can stop it. But Johnny X can. Come on! <laughs> hey, it's the kid with the silly costume but awesome powers that are almost as destructive as Repto Slicer. How will he try to stop Repto Slicer this time? Does he have a new power, or will he try that flaming thing with his backside? No, I will use this! A ball? You gotta be kidding! Come here, boy. Get the ball. Get it! Good boy. Now fetch a stick. Hey, that's my stick, and I refuse to share it. Throw it to him. No! Slicer, my new well-trained pet, I've come to take you home. Come here, boy. I'm out of here. Take me back. Take me back. <laughs> He's crazy. Good, Repto Slicer. Good boy. Aw, Repto Slicer is actually kind of sweet. Yeah, but how are we going to keep a slicing, shredding pet happy and active, huh? Oh, there's nothing I love more than the family sitting down for a nice dinner. And nothing goes better with dinner than nachos. Oh, but honey, there's no salsa. Don't worry, Mom. I'm on it. Repto Slicer, do your thing. It's crazy that that thing does make great salsa. Now, if you could only heat up our steak. Oh, I can take care of that, Dad. He's got a blow! Johnny! The Monster Truck Channel is back! <laughs> big Trucks, Big Fun, Crushing Thunder! The behemoth take on Mr. Big Tires. Flames! Watch men drive big trucks over things. It's big, big. And you, you can drive a real monster truck. Be there at the Port Valley Coliseum tonight. We're going to drive a real monster truck because we've got front row tickets. Woohoo! 
And now we've got one in our front yard! It's like a beautiful dream. And now it's more like a nightmare. Can you get the lovely Susan for me? I want to show her Road Bird, the world's most powerful monster truck. Let me drive that thing, and you've got a deal. Oh, Jonathan, you are far too small to handle the power of Road Bird. Fine, then no Susan. OK, you can drive it. Gil, where? Where's Gil? So, Susan, what do you think of my fat ride? I made it just for you. I think monster trucks are a waste of time and a sad attempt by men to deal with their own deficiencies. I don't understand. Don't chicks dig monster trucks? It depends on who's behind the wheel. Oh, pff, great. Well, I guess it's off to the junkyard with this heap. You were supposed to get me a day with the lovely Susan! The truck is alive? Um, hello. They're called monster trucks, so of course it's a real monster. Hey, what? Monster trucks aren't supposed to be real monsters? No, duh. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're off to see some real monster trucks at the Monster Truck Rally Jam 3! 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. I wonder if this violates my probation. Ah, uh, that would be a yes. It's Crank Monster Truck Rally 3! Hot cheesy nachos, two hours of nitro-burning monster trucks, and we get to drive one! It doesn't get any better than this! But whose truck is that? That's not part of the rally! Shows over! Bye! Roadburn just ate the show! This can't be happening. We were supposed to drive in a monster truck. Ah! Ah! There, there, Johnny. Calm down. Everything will be better soon. Ah! 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 Okay, I was wrong. But this will cheer you up. Live from Daytona, it's the Monster Truck Super Extreme Challenge 500. Okay, now I feel better. And here's the first lap. Thanks to Roadburn, the Monster Truck Channel has been canceled. So now we'll run infomercials. I can show you how you can get free money from cheese. Ah, again, ah! Chill out, Johnny. The world will not end without monster trucks. Yes, it will. And with Roadburn on the loose, he'll wipe out the entire monster truck species. But I will stop it. How? I was hoping you guys had the answer. Forget it, Johnny. We have our own problems to deal with. Yeah, like getting Wolfgang and Johann Sebastian to stop fighting. Knock it off, you two! Well, there's no way you can stop Roadkill alone, Johnny. Emphasis on alone, because I will not be going with you. Want to go for a walk? Walk? I love walks. I'll get my leash. Walk! That was a really long walk. Sorry, we can't help you, Johnny. We're very busy. We're trying to see who's the dominant male. It's me. No, it's me! I can't believe you are not looking for Roadburn. It eats other trucks. It's a menace to society! We are. But we have other top priorities. <laughs> Stabilize the economy, spy, get tasty lunch, protect the world from meteors, hunt down mad cows, work on mission to Mars, then stop the crazy monster truck-eating truck. But you have to stop it now! Why? Because, um, you see, dudes love monster trucks. And if they can't see monster trucks, they get sad. And if they get sad, they don't take their families out and spend money and soon consumer confidence plummets and the world is thrown into economic chaos. Meteors and mad cows fall from the sky, destroying the Mission to Mars project. All because you didn't stop road burn! Okay, we'll help. So all we have to do is make another really huge, bigger -y, stronger -y monster truck that will eat road burn. I give you the super secret. Government monster truck. It comes complete with bunker busting missiles, flamethrowers, 18 cup holders, and a road burn tracking device. And I get to drive. Sorry, Johnny. You're too small. There he is. 
Let's see how Roadburn handles a real monster truck. <laughs> Let's try the flamethrowers. Actually, it handles it pretty good. Okay, let's try the big, pointy, explodey thingies. Missiles! Missiles! They're called missiles! Okay, now let's try... Great Purpose! He's gaining us! We're going as fast as we can! Now he's eating us! Ah! I've decided I hate monster trucks! Now let's try the eject button! Why can't we get them to stop fighting? Maybe men are just born violent and stupid. It's highly likely. Oh boy, two billion dollars down the drain. It can't be stopped! It's fun to watch it crush stuff, but it can't be stopped! Tell us about it. We can't get these two to stop fighting no matter what habitat we place them in. Observe the quiet, serene Japanese garden. Or this mellow, peaceful, smooth jazz club. Hello, that's because you're never supposed to put two man hamsters together in a cage. You gotta put a lady hamster in there. I saw it on the hamster channel once. Right, because the males will try to establish dominance in their limited space. Dogs do it all the time, only we don't whack each other. We sort of just hop on each other. Wow, thanks, Johnny. We owe you one. Good, because I just realized it's going to take massive girl power to beat Roadburn. Right, so we'll all need dresses. No, but we will need a video camera, an advertising budget, and a totally new, super powerful, roadkill crushing monster truck. Monster Truck Rally Jam 4, four, 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 four. Be there! Today, 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 today! It's real super, su su super monster truck action! Today at the Port Belly C -C -C Coliseum! Not a trap or anything! Be there! Great! It looks like everybody saw our commercial! Let's just hope Roadburn saw it. That would be a yes! Give it up for Roadburn! The truck that eats everything and destroyed all other monster trucks! <laughs> Can it crush the newest, biggest, and baddest monster truck in the world? Ginger. is safe for monster trucks again. The Monster Truck Channel is back! And now, Monster Truck Rally Jam 5! Yeah! <laughs> What's wrong, Johnny? Thanks to you, monster trucks are no longer an endangered species. I know, but I never got to drive a monster truck. But Johnny, you're too small. But you're not too small for this one! <laughs> sword four. I'm going Samurai Laser Sword, and I will destroy you. And I'm going with... Night Sword, Shanghai Sword, Building Block Sword. The Building Block Sword? You can't win with that sword. <laughs> you can if you know how to use it, my young Padawan. And fight! <laughs> oh, winner! Now if I only knew how to use it. Hmm? It is I, Bling Bling Boy, here to impress the lovely Susan Test with one million roses. Get her for me! She says she's busy and allergic to roses. And you? She's playing hard to get. But I can play that game, too. Winner! Tell Susan I have a pony. Winner! 
Well, Susan, I want to see her now! She's washing her hair, but told us how to dismantle the missile. Deadly missile dismantled. I shall return to kiss my true love! <laughs> no! Test! I've reached the final level of Sacred Sword 4, and I might be the greatest player ever. I'm the greatest player ever. Then prove it! I challenge you to a video game showdown where I will kick your butt and destroy you and probably make you cry. Be here. One hour. And it is you who will lose. Great. See you then. Ah, young love. I do not love her. I hate her! <laughs> At your age, Johnny, it's the same thing. <laughs> my awesome new plan is perfect. After my total bio-neural transformation, there is no way Susan Test can resist spending time with me. Full power! <laughs> It worked! It worked! Okay, everything's perfect to destroy Sissy. Not a practice. I'm not answering that. I heard two wonderful, responsible girls live here, and could they babysit my little toddler? Uh, Todd? No. How about for a ton of cash? I think it's time the girls get a job. And besides, they're already babysitting their brother Johnny while I go out. Great. Give him plenty of affection and feed him around noon and... Oh, he hates broccoli. No broccoli. Boy, he sure likes Susan. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> He's crying. What's with the crying? Well, I don't know what to do. I'm a genius, not a babysitter. According to the Moron's Guide to Babysitting, if the baby cries, he's hungry. Let's get him lunch. Hello, Jonathan. Uh, oopsie. Oh, no. I've got Sissy coming over to play Sacred Sword, and I want you and your crazy ways out of here. Well, I am not going home, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I'm 11, and I'm pretty sure I can take a two-year-old. to Bling Bling Island. I shall return! <laughs> Whoa! Wow, he returns fast! But he's still going to lose. Not if I even the score. Goo goo! <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> there you are. Where have you? Swing, swing. We've got problems. Sissy will be here in 30 minutes. Blingling room, my buffet. And my hands are too small to beat Sissy! Uh, you've got bigger problems. You're two, and Sissy's gonna rib you for still being in training pants. Not for long. <laughs> Make me 11 years old again. Now! Um, no! We might be the same age, but it's two against one. Uh... <laughs> and I am also a baby blue belt. Well, I'm still in training pants. Perhaps you will be less annoying as a three-month-old drooling brat. Uh -oh. Or perhaps I'll press these colorful buttons and save myself. I'm all done and ready to help you defeat her! According to the book, it's a sign of a bad babysitter when you lose the baby! Wow! Okay, so that's not Todd, but Eugene trying to get next to me in toddler form, and Johnny must have tried to stop him, and now Eugene, aka Todd, aka Bling Bling Boy, is trying to waste Johnny. 
Well, no matter what, we've got to stop them. We're supposed to be babysitting them. And we already got paid. We got ourselves a drag race. Too much coffee. Prepare for ultra babiness, Johnny Cat! He's gonna zap us into embryos! Oh, this might hurt. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Oh. Ah! Now it's two against one again. Huh? Ah! Ah! Choose your weapon! We'll probably do us good. We'll be rested and have more energy to destroy each other. Oh, these weapons are too soft. Isn't there anything harder in this place to defeat you with? I shall tell you one more time. Turn me back to 11 years old. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Jonathan. And make me. Okay. Snack time. Use the fork, Johnny. I think this is better for you. You call broccoli a snack? I call that. Bar food. <laughs> but a healthy snack provides the energy to get through the day and defeat dorky enemies. Okay, snack time over. Huh. Yeah, I do feel more powerful. <laughs> huh? <laughs> wow, it really did give you energy. <laughs> Said it for 11 years old. Sissy's coming over in five minutes. Then maybe she'll like to play with an 11 day old. Because I tricked you. Hello, Todd. Or should I say, Eugene? Oh, uh, <laughs> this looks bad, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> I was just kidding around. I'm a good boy. What are you going to do to me? Why, we're gonna babysit you, of course. And it's lunchtime. Nice bread test, but prepare to get what? We'll see about that. Night sword, Shanghai sword, building block sword. The building block sword? There's no way you can beat me with <laughs> Winner! You won, but I was distracted. What's with all the noise? Here comes the airplane! No, no, not broccoli. No! 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 I don't have to do math homework because I'm a dog. <laughs> Can you pass me the duct tape? <laughs> Is that your math homework? Oh, let me do that for my wonderful brother. What do you want? The usual, but I don't have an excuse, so that's why I did the bonus question, so you'll come up with one. Hmm. Oh, where is she? Get out! It's Susan! She's got... Yes! She's still bigger than a marching band horn section! Oh, no! She got guilty! he'll be back and then I'm done helping you. And that's why we're working on an anti-Susan love lozenge that will break Eugene of his crush on her. So I can get my life back! 
How? Your mission, little brother, is to keep bling bling away so we can focus on development. What? I am not heartless. I can't keep a man who's clearly in love away from his dream girl. I'll do your math homework for a month. I got you there. <laughs> Jonathan, I created an elixir that will cure sweet Susan backside blastoids. <laughs> she went to the bathroom, felt better, and went to the movies. She bit her tongue and can't talk. Bye. <laughs> Tell her I have a new tongue. She's in the shower. Well, how long will that take? Uh, a month. No. Susan Test, go on a date with me. Here she is. An experiment went totally wrong. Your true love. Oh. Oh. Slug. Nice. And now to test the anti-Susan love lozenge on Lolo. Notice how Lolo holds me lovingly, but when I give her the anti-love lozenge, she will hate Susan. The lozenge makes Lolo attack dogs. Do you have any duct tape? <laughs> okay, we need more testing. It's a regular slug, sir. Not Susan Test. That's it! I want research! I want studies, I want war plans, and I want to know why I can't get a date with Susan Test! After extensive research and simulated computer dating, we've determined the main reason you can't get a date with Susan. Well, what is it? Are my tips too extravagant? My sense too alluring? Does she think I'm bad? Uh, no. The number one thing blocking you from dating Susan Test is Johnny Test. <laughs> Hours of surveillance reveals that Johnny is constantly blocking you at the door, keeping you away from his sister, and... And foiling my plot of love! But if you can eliminate Johnny Test, your chances of getting a date with Susan shoot up 3,000%. Oh, but I've always kind of liked Johnny. I see a lot of myself in him, you know? But he must be eliminated! <laughs> Duct tape rocks! My doggy sixth sense says something bad is about to happen. What? That's ridiculous. Okay, I believe. Johnny Test, you will no longer stop me from seeing my Susan. And don't freak out. The lasers are non-deadly stun lasers, so I can capture you easy and lock you away so you can't keep me from my Susan. My senses now tell me to run. <laughs> Better, but still not the sheer hatred we were looking for. Blingling is trying to waste me! A force field? Oh, please! I know I have a force field blasting rocket somewhere here. No. Ooh, how about this one? When will the lozenge be done so Bling Bling will hate you and not me? We're still missing one more important and rare ingredient. Then give Johnny some new powers or weapons to protect himself! Uh, we used all the genetic mutating reserves in the lozenge. Sorry. And Dad took all the blasters after we neutralized the car last week. Well, then what's this rare ingredient you need? The beet beet root of a Pima cactus located in the Arizona desert. And how do we get it? With ugly sneakers? <laughs> They are ugly sonic rocket sneakers. Gyroscopic sensors detect your movements and 16 micro-rocket boosters increase your foot speed to 236 miles per hour. Are you telling me I have to run through the desert while a super genius tries to hunt me down? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what the? No, you cannot escape my super genius, Johnny Ted! You can run at 200 miles an hour, Johnny, but you cannot hide from my heat-seeking missiles! He fired a missile! I hate missiles! They hurt me! Then I guess we'll just make a little U-turn. <laughs> Split up! Whoa, you know, I didn't see that coming. 
Yeah, it's me. Listen, I need another copter. Oh, and some TNT. The secret ingredient is just five miles up the road! That's right. Keep running, Johnny. Running right into my trap! Now Johnny will have to stop, and we will capture him. Or better yet, he will fall to his doom. Hit the brakes! Yes, it works! <laughs> beep, beep. Now, back to the lab to get Bling Bling to stop chasing you and start hating your sister. So nice to see you, Jonathan. I have a little surprise for you. <laughs> We've completed the road work, sir, and it leads right into the rock. And right into my fake tunnel! <laughs> okay, okay, now, everybody hide. the laws of physics! <laughs> and so does that. Oh, come on! An anvil! Beep, beep. There's one small problem. I'm back! How are we gonna get Bling Bling to eat a lozenge? Because he wants to blast us! Johnny Ted! Come out of your hands up! Your feet shoes off! No harm will come to you! I'll just lock you in a cell with TV forever so you can no longer stop me from pursuing my sweet Susan! Uh, where's the duct tape? You dirty test! <laughs> I win! <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, what the? A lozenge? I hate lozenges, but not as much as I hate Susan Test! 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 It worked! I never want anything to do with her because I love Mary Test. <laughs> sorta! It sorta worked! Uh, yeah, you might want to take these. After her! I'm in love! The lozenge will wear off in about 30 days and he'll chase me again. And that will give you time to focus on my math homework. I'm done with my homework. We beat all the video games. And we're bored and huh? Uh, what's a fancy occasion? Mom and Dad asked Gil's mom to dinner tonight. And she's bringing Gil from next door. And he will see how great we look and he'll want to sit next to us. Then in six years, he'll marry me. Close. He'll marry me. That plan has some gaps in it, don't you think? Maybe. But now it's time for the finishing touch that Gil can't resist. A pair of Italian pumps. You know, I'm not the genius here, but aren't there two shoes per pair? My shoes are gone! And I wanted to borrow your red stilettos! Who did this? Well, that's a familiar shape. <laughs> your love for me? I want my shoes back, Eugene. What? Uh, shoes? What kind of a wacko steals a girl's shoes? We're looking at him. Oh, I am insulted. 
and will not take any more of your rudeness! <laughs> but I did take your shoes. <laughs> we have to get those shoes back! Or just go to the shoe store and buy some more. <laughs> you can't just buy them. They're reported! It will take weeks! Yeah, I have to go now because you're both nuts! Johnny, there are a lot of things boys will never understand about girls, and one of them is their love of shoes. <laughs> I barely understand it. And that's why you have to go to Bling Bling Island and get them. What? No way! That island is super creepy and full of Bling Bling's experiments that will eat us! If you get the shoes back, we will owe you one. Owe me five, and I'm in. Now you have to hurry. Gil will be here in two hours. An emphasis on you, because Daggy no go to Creepy Island. I know, and I can't let anything happen to my best friend. I'll take this one. It's gonna be dangerous. And let's face it, you tend to crack under pressure. What? I don't crack under pressure. Yeah, you do. In hindsight, I should have named you Cracky, not Dookie. I will show you I rock under pressure. Move over, mister. You used reverse psychology on me, didn't you? Oh, big time. And don't worry, it's Bling Bling Island. It'll be like stealing candy from a baby. <laughs> oh, Johnny. A jet? You know my air defense system cannot be beat. Ah, blah, 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 my air defense. Just give me the shoes. I told you, I don't have the shoes. We can see them right over there. Uh, oh, with, with those are my mother's shoes. See, she has the feet of a teenage girl. What's going on up there? Uh, nothing, Mom. I'm just sending out a package. Rush delivery. Hey, Dad. Why were you shipped home airmail? Do you really want to know, or do you need to prepare for dinner? I need to prepare, but no more boy in boxes. Hmm. Where are the shoes? You have a submarine, right? I also need wetsuits, oxygen tanks, black stretchy pants, grappling hooks, a passcode lockpick, smoke screens, micronic high-powered pen lasers, and jetpacks. We got those too. But not me, because I mean it this time. You are on your own. Fine, I'll go alone. But remember this, without my best bud there to help me, I could get hurt or perish. Then you will have to live forever with the haunting thought of me fading alone on the beach shouting, Oogie, why didn't you come and help me? So you got me with the guilt trip thing this time. I can't believe you went for it. Let's just get the shoes. Pen lasers are cool. The coast is clear. Now which door were the shoes in again? Huh? An escape pod. That could come in handy. He likes it. <clears throat> Johnny Chest! You may have noticed I released my Catosaurus experiment. But if you give up and give me the shoes back, I promise you and your dog will not become Dino Cat Food. Give him the shoes. It's not worth it. Give him the 
shoes! No, I totally don't get the girl shoe thing, but it's important to my sister, so it's important to me. Really? Why not? So, we're gonna race back to the volcano and use that rocket thing we saw to get back home. Go! Ah! Ah! I don't think that was a duck. It looked more like a cat dactyl. Get those shoes, my cat dactyl! It got the shoes! Okay, so Bling Bling wins one. Big deal, right? It's just shoes! I win, Johnny Chest! Ha ha ha! I will not lose to that dork. Oh, what the heck is he doing now? Hey, how come I hold up? Hey! He's uh, overriding the controls, sir. I can read! Get back to the lab! Look out! That was fun. Let's go! The escape pod is behind this door, which I need a password, but my cat thing ain't our code breaker! Eh, 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 eh. Jane! Password! And I hear one more loud noise! Wait, password lock? Duh. S-U-S-A-N. Yes! Stop right there, Jonathan! Drop the shoes or I'll freeze you both and keep you on this island forever! Give up, Johnny Test! <laughs> Just let us go, Eugene. I don't want to use this. <laughs> oh! I'm scared! You're going to defeat me with a plant! I have a freeze laser! Hello! Sometimes I wish I was a cat. Then you would never have adopted me because you hate cats. It's over, Jonathan. You live. Oh, you see? That's it! Move! And you broke a plant! You are in so much trouble, mister! Ow, ow, ow! I will have my revenge, Johnny Chest! Ow, Mom, that hurts! <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you, Johnny! We love you. We love you! I really don't get this shoe thing. Now, all I have to do is get downstairs, have Gil fall in love with me, and in six years we will be married. No, Gil is going to marry me in six years. No, he's going to marry me! Ah, how dare you! Me! Oh, you want to go? Oh, this is about to get good. Ah! Uh, so, Johnny, what did you do today? Oh, nothing. 